Maruti and Talane versus Sonny Edwards. If you guys didn't know, they fought last Friday. Um, so I'm a little late with this video. I apologize for the late upload. I was busy the past few days working. <laughs> but anyway, this fight took place over in the UK. Fight went the distance. Fight went the whole 12 rounds. And we have ourselves a new world champion. And that fighter is Sonny Edwards. Sonny Edwards, at the age of 25 years old, he is now the IBF champion of the world. Improved his win to 16-0. Four wins coming by way of knockout TKO winning this fight by unanimous decision. All three judges had it in his favor. 115-113, 118-111, 120-108. I don't know about that 120-108. Um, I think, I think uh, Talani at least won two rounds. At the very least, won two rounds. Um... But yeah, it, it was Sonny Edwards who, I don't know, man. I, he, he surprised me. Sonny Edwards, I got to say, I, I got to give him props. I give props to Sonny Edwards. He he surprised me. He He's more light on his feet than I expected. He has more stamina than I expected. He's more sharp than I expected going into this fight. Um, And for him to, defeated, to defeat Maruta Amtalani, who hasn't lost in how many years? You know, if you scroll through his resume, the last time he lost was in 2008 against Norito Donair. And to, for him to keep up that winning streak, this is a very good win for, for Sonny Edwards. I don't know if Amtalani just got old overnight. I mean, he hasn't fought in more than a year. Maybe that's why. Maybe Ring Rust came into play or what have you. Yeah, I, I, I just I kind of expected more from him, Talani. I'm gonna be honest. Maybe, maybe I just really underestimated Sonny Edwards. But yeah, he did a spectacular job boxing, moving around, hitting, hitting, moving, hitting, moving. Um, yeah, he, he was a hard target to hit for M. Talani. M. Talani struggled to cut off the ring. I mean, there were moments where he did, you know, was able to get in the inside, work on the inside, but yeah, you know, wasn't enough to win the, win the rounds, and for him. He needed the knockout towards the end, and obviously he didn't get that. And he's not really known for his... Well, actually, he's known for his uh, punching power. It's just that San Andreas was just a fucking rabbit moving everywhere. <laughs> um, anyway, if you want to watch a full fight, it's here on YouTube. You can watch a full fight here on YouTube. Um, I, I just got to give props to Sonny Edwards, man. That's big props to him. And if we look at the uh, rankings, you know, Sonny Edwards is now the champion. Um, it would be nice to see him fight the other champions, guys like, you know, Julio Cesar Martinez, Artem Dalakian, Junto Nakatani. Those are those would be very damn good fights if he could fight those guys. Hopefully, hopefully in the near future. As for Maruti M. Talane, is it time to retire from M. Talane? Uh, not yet, in my opinion. I don't think he needs to retire. I think he can do maybe one or two fights fighting in South Africa in his home country. He's been a road warrior the past few years, fighting in uh, Malaysia, fighting in China, fighting in Japan two times, and fighting in the UK. I think it would be nice to see him go back to South Africa and fight one or two times just to say goodbye to his fans over there. Because he's definitely a future Hall of Famer for, especially, uh, you know, for South Africa, that's for sure. I think you can make the argument that he can be a future Hall of Famer. Not first ballot, but, you know... Um, maybe in the distant future. So, anyway, if you saw the fight, let me know what did you think about it in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.